Good morning. I am making some more paper beads and I pulled out my paint chip samples and I made some paper beads and that makes really cute paper beads. So I took and cut some of my papers into just long, uh, about I don't know, a half an inch on one end, and then you, you just want it tapered to the other end. You can make a, a extreme point, or you can taper it as much as you want. You could even make it straight to make just a solid, like, straight bead. So, and it works with the smaller ones also. I cut one right there. So I'm going to use my paper bead roller that I love, and I'm just going to start rolling these. You want the outside color on the outside and you just start rolling them and make sure they stay centered. See if your paper was all one, all one width it wouldn't taper like this. So if you want beads like that you could make them like that. Those are really cute too. They turn out real cute. And this thicker paper just takes a minute to get it to stick than if you're using paper, uh, you know, just regular, like, copy paper. So you're going to go around it for a couple times until it's sticking. I don't know if you can see that. I hope that's in focus. Just keep going around, and it's stuck. And then I take it off of here and I put it on a toothpick and I usually put it sideways so it can dry right there and it'll dry real fast so I'll do a big one real quick for you too to show you how fast these are to make if you want the color on the outside above and just start rolling this You could make it tapered only at one end if you wanted to make it kind of like a, a cone. Just however you want. You can do them as loose and as tight as you want. Don't want it too tight, you'll never get it off your paper bead roller maybe. Or you might ruin it getting it off. So then you could glue as you go too, but I, I don't. This is good enough right here, especially after you gloss your beads. And then I just take Mod Podge. I take glossy Mod Podge after they're dry and I Mod Podge them. I'm just going to hold it for a minute because the glue doesn't want to, the paper's so heavy it wants to come apart. So it just takes a minute, it'll stick. There we go, see that fast didn't even take a minute. And that glue's pretty good. And then put it right here so it can dry. So there are two cute paper beads you can do in all different colors. They kind of have a tapering of color and then they have some white specks on them too. So they're very unique and very cute. I like them. So I hope you enjoy. Have fun creating. Bye-bye.